Well, hello everyone. I'm back here at my property, my favorite little canyon, to teach you a little bit more about where you can look for gold in a creek. Uh, if you saw my last video, I talked about the fact that I noticed on my YouTube videos that there's a lot of views on my videos that are how to find gold. Yeah, so I realized that uh, the viewers here really want to know how to find gold. So I'm going to give a few videos on what different spots that I would look for gold. Today, I'm going to talk about potholes or stake pockets or post holes. These little holes down in rock that are formed in bedrock from a single little cobble. You can see the one that's in the bottom of this one that gets trapped in one spot and as the water flows by it starts to spin. As it spins it erodes away the bedrock and makes these perfectly round, usually round, uh, holes down into solid bedrock. They can be a great spot to find gold. They can also be a terrible spot to find gold. It really depends whether or not it's active. Now I chose this one to show you to start with because you can obviously see in the, in the hole here, the cobble. The one cobble that is spinning around in the water flow, obviously not right now, it's just in spring let, fresh let there when spring runoff is happening. The water is going by here so fast that that cobble is spinning around and around and around digging a hole. If it is an active one that is currently, or each year, digging itself deeper and deeper hole, you're probably not going to find much gold in the bottom. Because that rock spinning around grinds anything that falls into it to dust and then just goes away, including the gold. So, I brought, I brought you to this one to show you what it, one looks like that's active, but I'm not going to clean it out because I would not expect to find any gold in the bottom of that. I happen to know upstream where there's one that I cleared out about three years ago and I've been watching it for the last three years and it does not seem to be active in any way. So we're going to see if in three years any new gold has deposited into the pothole up there. There's three or four I know just in this little section and that one there is the only one I know of that looks to be active. Beautiful little creek. I think there's one more just over against that wall somewhere. I'd have to go looking for it again. Anyhow, let's move upstream to the one I know of up here. It was just last week that I was down here filming clearing out the cracks behind that boulder over there. Found some nice gold in that crack behind that boulder. You see my shovel and stuff there? That's where I'm going to be digging. Now I happen to know that right here, it's buried right now under this gravel, there's another stake pocket right in there. That pocket that goes down and again, it doesn't look active right now. Might be a fun one to clean up, especially since it's right behind that chunk of bedrock. Now, when I clear out this one here, I'm gonna fill it up with water. I'll just take my pan and fill it up with water. And then I will suck the bottom dry. Use my little hand dredge there. These guys here, I should talk about, especially if anyone is from BC, for years, those fell in the gray area of the rules. We didn't really know if they were allowed. People kind of just turned a blind eye and used them. But unfortunately in the latest um, release of the clarification of the rules, it was pretty black and white saying that in a creek, those are not allowed. Now luckily I'm not going to be working in the creek today. I'll be working up high and dry. So I'm going to go for it. But the rules do say very clearly now that little hand dredges down in the creek are not allowed here in BC. But luckily I'm high and dry today. So 
once I clear the hole, this is the hole right here, once I clear the hole, I'll use it to get down into the bottom and any gold that is sitting in the bottom of the pocket, I can get sucked up. I am going to ignore the top foot of gravel. I know it goes down about a foot and a half. I am just going to chuck the top gravels away. I am just going to get down into the bottom and see what's sitting on the bottom. Well, here we go. Let's do it. So I've gone down, I've taken the top foot or so of gravel off of it. I've left about uh, six inches in the bottom. <laughs> see if we can get down here and focus. Now I see a lot of biomatter and stuff. Probably the last time I cleared it out, it was left sitting as the rest of the summer and fall went and it probably just filled up with leaves and needles and everything and then new material fell on top. Hopefully it turned up enough that any gold that fell on top will settle to the bottom. There's probably four or five pans worth of material here. I will start putting it in that pan and panning it out and see what I find. of black sand. Four or five little specks. I'm gonna do more and show you at the end. Maybe I'll suck them up. I'll just suck them up and then show you at the end what we got.
the same results. Four or five little pieces. I think somewhere I have a picture of the bottom pan I took the first time I cleared it out. One pan, not the whole thing, just one pan from the bottom. If I can find that picture, I'll put it in the video and show you the first time around what was there. It was nice. Much the same results in every pan. You might notice I'm not dumping out my pan because I'm not really being careful to get all the gold. So if I do miss any gold, it'll be in the next one. in that one. Smaller pieces.
a smaller pan. There was only about a half pan left. Although I'm not done yet because I still have to wash it down and suck out the bottom. Okay, here's what we got. Here's the steak pocket. I call them steak pockets, potholes. People call them all sorts of different things. You can see that there's still lots of material. I can get down in there with my hands and pull that up, but instead I'm just gonna wash it all down into the bottom. Looks like there's the low spot where the water's collecting. I'll make sure it all gets washed into that spot and I'll use the little hand dredge there to suck it all up. Again, I'm high and dry from the creek, so I think I'm within the rules to use that thing. Don't want to break the rules, especially on camera. Now let's go wash her down. I think I better put the camera back up. overflowing back into it so I maintain water levels in it. In a second I will uh, move the pan so I can actually empty it to make sure I've got everything off the bottom. I think I'll do that now. Now when the pan overflows it's going to go back out into the creek and I will be able to empty the bottom and find where I've missed. Too big for the sucker. 
Lean back down to the wall spot. And clean. I didn't clean up too high because I knew there was no gold up there, but all nice and clean in the bottom. And if I really wanted to, I could go down. There's a little, basically nothing left in there. Let's go see what the, the bottom held. There's about a quarter pan of material there. everything I've got from that whole pocket. Oh, one thing I should do. Almost forgot. The dredge has a little cap nugget catcher if you will inside it right there sometimes getting gold gets caught up in there so let's go see if I missed anything There's the gold. Yeah, 50, maybe 50 pieces, two of which were an okay size. Maybe a half hour panning, if that. 
Not bad for one little hole in the, in the bedrock. And that was just that little hole right over there. One little hole in bedrock. Nice little hole of gold. Beautiful little spot. Love being down here. Now, around this one area, there's that pot, that hole right there. There's one right below me here. Just be, I, I only know that because in previous years it was exposed. There's one there. You can sort of see the edge of it. Got some big rocks in that one. There's a really big one right there. It's underneath the water right now. Oh, actually, no, it's right there. You can sort of see the upper edge of it, sort of round, but it goes way down into the bed, uh, bedrock, way underneath there. I cleared that out one year, but it was a lot of work to clear that one out. I know of at least three down there, and there's probably more around. Some years the gravels deposit in, other, in new places and scour out old places, and you find holes that you didn't even know were there. There could be a couple right along here that I don't even know about because they're underneath this gravel bar right now. But some year this gravel bar won't be here and maybe they'll get exposed, clear them out and get a nice little hull for just a little bit of work. So last week it was about cracks, breaking up the bedrock, that jagged bedrock, and getting those cracks, the gold that's stuck in those cracks. This week, potholes. Clear no potholes. Remember, if they look to be active, you see one big rock and not much gravel sort of caked in them, you're probably not going to find gold in them. But hey, give it a shot. Maybe you will. Maybe you'll get lucky. Well, everyone, that's just one more place you can look for gold on a creek. Hopefully it helps you find some. Until the next one. Bye. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please click the subscribe button below, that little picture of me. And here's a couple more videos on the topic that you also might enjoy. Thank you for watching my videos. Have a great day. Bye.